Hey guys, you know what? Difference between KNN and KMINS is one of the most frequently asked questions, not only by students, also it is favorite questions by many interviewers out there. Though these algorithm names sound same, but they are not. These two are the most popular machine learning algorithms often asked in the interviews and they are often confused with each other. That is why it is one of the frequently asked question, but they are actually quite different and each has its own strengths and weaknesses. Today, we have an exciting topic to discuss in the world of machine learning and data analysis. We will be discussing the difference between two popular algorithms that is KNN, that is K nearest neighbor and K means clustering. We will also be talking about the pros and cons of these two algorithms. So stay tuned till the end of this video and let's get started. Hey guys, welcome to AI with AI, this side Asif Imnad. So first let's try to understand these two algorithms separately. Let's understand K nearest neighbor first, what it is, how it works and then we will talk about K-means. KNN that is K nearest neighbor is a supervised machine learning technique while K-means is unsupervised machine learning technique. This is most fundamental difference between KNN and K-means. KNN is supervised and K-means is unsupervised machine learning technique. Let me start with a very simple example to understand what KNN stands for. We often notified that we share many characteristics with our nearest peers. That means my character, my values, my behavior is built depending on with whom I spend most of my time. Whether it is your thinking process, your working etiquettes, your philosophies, many other factors. As a result, we build friendships and the relationship with people, those looks similar to us. In short, you become the one whom you spend most of your time with. It can be your friends, your family, your colleagues, as I said, the KNN algorithm employs the same principle. Its aim is to locate all of the closest neighbors around in order to figure out what class it belongs to. In the diagram you see, we have cancelled tumor data plotted against age and tumor size. As age increases, tumor size may increase. The chances of getting cancer is more, right? So this is the data that has been plotted. The red ones you see are the harmless tumors and the green ones that you see are the harmful tumors. So by the plot, you can easily see that lesser the age, lesser the tumor size is and less chances of having cancer. So this is harmless tumor, right? And on the upper side, you see as the age increases, the tumor size also increases and those become harmful tumors. So this is what the data is given to us. So now let's understand what KNN does here and how KNN works. So assume in future you get new data point that is new patient take the appointment and does the test and these are the data points these are the test results that he gets so this circle white circle shows here this is the new data point okay new patient so now we need to decide whether this new patient new data that we received whether it is a harmless or harmful tumor this is what we need to predict by looking at data, you can easily say that this may belong to harmless. Why you are saying that? Because most of the neighbors and the cluster it belongs to is the harmless. Similarly, what KNN does? K nearest neighbor. The name itself says nearest neighbor. Ask neighbors. It looks for this neighbor. It looks for this neighbor. It looks for this neighbor and decide what class it belongs to. So if it belongs to harmless, if more neighbors are from harmless family, then this new data point will also become harmless. So this is how KNN algorithm works and that's so easy, right? So what we understood is KNN is supervised machine learning technique because we have labeled data. So it asks its neighbors, what do you belong to? What are your characteristics? Are you harmless or are you harmful? So if maximum number of neighbors are harmless, then this will also become harmless. That's how KNN works. Now let's talk about K-Mins in short. K-Mins is part of unsupervised learning family. This means it does not rely on pre-labeled data. No data is labeled. You see in the image, data looks similar. No labels, no classification there, right? So this is unlabeled data. What is the task of K-Mins? So how K-Mins forms the clusters? Let me quickly explain that. To start with, it drops two seeds as you see in the image red seed and blue seed and it starts asking all the data points who are you near to it asks this data point are you near to red or are you near to blue so the data points which are closer to red will become red and data points which are closer to blue will become blue this is how it will form a cluster but the story doesn't end here then it moves to the center of this red cluster 
and this seed moves to the center that is centroid of this cluster right and eventually what will happen these two seeds will come to the absolute centers something like this okay and finally they will form two clusters absolute clusters now if you try to find out the centroid of red and centroid of blue it will not move further and this is when the clusters are formed this is how k means clustering works in the previous videos we have already discussed about k nearest neighbor and k means clustering in detail make sure you watch those videos if you want to understand in detail i'm keeping the link in the i button above and also in the description below before we proceed and discuss the difference in detail if you like our content if you are new here don't forget to subscribe to our channel and to hit that bell icon so that you won't miss our latest videos on ai we see that you are watching our videos but 90% of you are not yet subscribed we put lot of efforts creating these videos for you free so keep us motivated by liking and subscribing so this is the only favor that we ask from you so make sure you like and subscribe so that youtube algorithm will also help us reach more audience i'm taking a 1 second pause here so that you can subscribe and like did you like and subscribe thank you The reason I explained KNN and KMNs is because now you can easily identify the differences. Once you understand how it works, you will be in a position to identify the differences, pros and cons as well, right? So KNN easily we can say it is a supervised learning technique because you had a labeled data and in KMNs you do not have any labels. Initially, if you remember, we had data which is not labeled. all the data points are in green so this is unlabeled data that is unsupervised learning technique right so this is the fundamental difference supervised and unsupervised the result the objective of knn is to classify the new data point to one of the classes that we have identified right so knn is for classification and kmins is not for classification kmins does clustering it forms a clusters on unlabeled data let me show you a simple table so that you can easily find out the difference between knn and kmins so you can also take a screenshot of this slide we'll differentiate knn and kmins based on some of the parameters very first point as you see knn is a supervised learning technique kmins is unsupervised learning technique task of knn is to classify mostly this is also used for regression but mainly knn is used for classification and kmins is for clustering this is what we discussed till now right the parameter that you see the word k is common in between right that k in knn stands for number of neighbors it has to ask k in kmins is how many clusters you want to form the input that we provide in knn is labeled data you provide labeled data in knn whereas in kmins you provide unlabeled data data is not labeled in kmins if you have observed closely in both the algorithms we need to find the distance in knn distance is required to ask the neighbors find the nearest neighbors right so it uses euclidean manhattan these are different ways to calculate the distances whereas kmins uses euclidean distance between data points to form a clusters output in case of knn is what class it belongs to it will classify the new data point whereas in kmins it will form a number of clusters whatever k k is the tuning parameter how many clusters do you want to form so in knn what class it belongs to is the output and in kmins output is the clusters it will create i mean two clusters four clusters five clusters okay knn used in classification as i said and sometimes in regression as well and kmins is mostly used in segmentation problems like customer segmentation image compression anomaly detection there is one more difference which i haven't mentioned here knn is a lazy learner and kmins is a eager learner what does that mean lazy learner means it will not have a training phase knn is a lazy learner kmins is a eager learner knn doesn't have any training phase so do you train a model do you train knn we don't train knn because at run time it identifies what are the neighbors depending on the neighbors it will become a part of that class okay that's why no training phase whereas kmins is eager learner that means it requires a training phase that's why kmins is called eager learner and yeah not to forget the only similarity between knn and kmins is the word k in knn stands for how many neighbors to consider so that we can decide what class it belongs to whereas in kmins k stands for how many clusters to create how many clusters you want to form from unlabeled data so to conclude in simple words if you have labeled data and you want to classify or predict the labels of new data points then knn would be more appropriate algorithm for you if you have unlabeled data and you want to group them into similar clusters to find patterns in the data then kmins would be more suitable for you as simple as that and this is how we come to an end very short and sweet video 
If you have any questions regarding the same, let us know in the comment below. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe to my channel and hit that like button. And don't forget to share this video with your friends and colleagues, those who are also interested in machine learning, AI and data science. So thanks for watching. See you again next time. Till then, take care and bye-bye.